and I'm I'm hitting C, E flat, F, and a G flat, and that right there, that's this sound here. Now I'm going to move my hand. Now watch this. This is almost magic. Here I I have a C7 here. Watch this. If I went and did this form of the C7 and moved up here, this is lock finger technique. I'm using this form, and there's probably another F7 sitting around somewhere like that. Yeah, right here. Okay, so I'm going to use an F7 here like this. Back to C7. And then a G7 is just basically like that. It's G, B, D, F. Okay, or you could just hit a G. Now, for the new ones, real new ones, I'm going to hit C, bass. Okay, now I'm going to hit the 4, which is the F, C, D, E, F. Then I'm going to hit the 5, and just this monotonous sound. right there is I just basically went I went basically went from E flat F F sharp or G flat G and I made it G chord and now I'm going back that's your five now we're going to one and to get some feeling into it see I'm going from C7 to F7 Now I'm going to the five, so I'm going to hit the G note, and I can hear that coming down. Can't you hear it coming down? Notice my finger is not moved from over here. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing that. Okay, I'm not doing this either. Okay, not doing any of that. Now right there, that is A blues, but I'm going to stay with C blues for a while. Okay, I prefer A blues a lot of times, and I will move back and forth. Whatever I'm doing. Now on this one right here, I might go, I might do, which I'm not going to show yet how to do this. Okay, or I might go from here like that. I'm way up like that. I might do That's really advanced or semi-advanced. Okay. Now a G7. All I did was just, you know, go like this. I just call it one. That's called a mixed Lydian mode, by the way. Can you hear this? I'm going like this. And I like it up here because it really shakes. Hear that? And this, that sounds out, right? But when I put it on the four chord, which is what you want to go to when you're doing the blues. So I'm now I'm doing the, the F and then the flat seven. But I want to show you something about this flat seven that I picked up on uh, just recently, okay? If I'm in F, I can look over here and see, okay, this is F. But what is that note right there? Well, that note is a sharp 13. It really is. <laughs> because um, here is a form of 13 right here. Okay. Okay. You, yeah, that's right here. This would be a 13. Okay. Because it has everything you need. A 13 has the 1, F, the 3, the 5. It doesn't even need all that. It needs the 1, the 3, and the flat 7 which is always one whole tone down from the root or one half tone down from the 
seven in the scale of F. And it comes down. But notice that that is from F. If you started from F, that would be F seven. Okay. But if I'm over here, let's look at what this is. At that instant of time, when you come through there, listen to the sound of that. Listen right up here. Okay? I'm coming up here, and it looks like I'm going to flat 7. But this is something that I picked up really recently. And I've been playing for years, but it was like one of those things, the aha moment. And I, I am primarily self-taught. This right here. Let's follow it and let's see what that really is. Okay? So let's call this, for all practical purposes, let's call this um, 8. Because F to, F to F is 8. And then that's 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Notice this is 13. Okay? Now I'm here. So I'm going to take a little liberty and call that a 13. Okay, because we wouldn't want to call it another another eight notes up. What I mean is, you know, it, that would get a little ridiculous. So, but listen to this sound here. You have these notes here. Okay, now this turns out to be, if I do this here, F, A, C, and then E flat, I'm just doubling up on the, the flat seven here in that octave. It's not that much, but when I get up here, it kind of gets gritty. Now watch what happens. Now this right here, listen. Okay, that's kind of still plain Jane right there. Okay. Now that's a, the idea. That's just a saying. <laughs> If you here go like this, and I go here, that is a thirteenth, and you can hear that. Hear that? F. I have the flat seven. Okay. I have the A in it, so I have the one, the three, the flat seven, and there's a thirteenth. Because here, one, two, three, four, five, six, flat seven. Okay. But that right there, up in this area, okay, it seems like it's a flat seven because it, it works, okay? When I pull it up here, as I said this before, okay, this is my own thoughts on this, okay? But if I would carry that farther, okay, if this was the, uh, call that the, uh, that's just the root. So we're going to call that eight, and we're just doing my thoughts on this. So 9 would be G. Now that's pretty obvious that you can do that for that, because that right there would be legitimately a F9. Okay? And um, that would be what? Uh, 9, 10, 11. You go up in the scale, okay, of F. And 12 would be, 12 would be what? C. And D would be what? 13. And 13, this would be a sharp 13 here. And this would be at 13 again. Coming down to be a flat 13. Okay? Sharp 13. Okay? That's something you don't see very often. And that sounds really cool right there. Okay, so anyways, so um, here we're going to do this. Okay, let me show you how I did that. I'm basically doing, walking this. I want to go up here, I can hit those little cool little notes. Okay, 